This summer solstice brings the launch of Synchronicity University. So excited about finally presenting you guys with a free online, fully accessible database of astrology classes. You can watch lessons right now at synchronicityuniversity.com and of course my YouTube channel, nadiashaw.com. Hello fabulous Sagittarius, welcome to your horoscope for the month of August 2015 Love Focus. I am your astrologer Nadia Shaw, thank you for being here. This month in the context of love, it really is what's taking place smack dab in the middle of the month that is going to be most significant, that is going to capture more of your attention. And this is largely thanks to a new moon that is happening in a part of the sky, as I touched on in the general focused horoscope, a part of the sky for you that has to do with really your comfort zone. It's your home in the sky and it has to do with addressing issues or areas of life that ultimately you are here to explore more fully over the course of a lifetime. Venus is currently retrograde in this part of the sky. So you are going to want to watch all the different things I've put out having to do with the Venus retrograde. I've been talking about this in the weekly horoscopes, the monthly horoscopes, and also the Venus special horoscopes as well. But having said that, Venus is retrograding in a part of the sky that ultimately is your comfort zone, is your home in the sky, what astrologers call your house. And it is in this part of the sky that you take on an adventure, that you explore where it is that you are and where it is that you want to go and explore your place in the world. Sometimes that's sort of in the world in terms of the various influences around you, but sometimes it's more literal. It's about looking at your place in the world in terms of actually going to other places on the planet and exploring the possibilities that are there for your life and for yourself. So we've got this a wonderful, wonderful new moon taking place smack dab in the middle of the month with Venus in the sky. And this is going to highlight and propel and energize that Venus and particularly that Venus retrograde. So when Venus is retrograde, her energies are especially potent and especially passionate. She is closer to the earth than normal. And so we are all, just like Venus, we are all connecting to that energy, especially passionate and especially desiring the experience of love. And it is with this particular new moon that love can have us taking chances that surprise the people around us, and surprise us as well. And that's thanks to Uranus having a supreme conversation, having a supremely harmless conversation with this particular new moon. So you put all that together, and this to me says a real desire for fresh experiences and fresh understandings in the context of love. Those of you who are in an established bond, this is going to be the two of you saying, let's go. Let's take on an adventure together. You know, let's just go to another country. It might just be, let's take a vacation together. But for others of you, there are going to be real plans made, longer term plans made. And it looks like there are elements there that are likely to surprise you. So even if this is something that's been a long time coming, there are going to be some new elements kicking in that delight and surprise and enliven as part of this adventure that the two of you are taking on together. Those of you who are getting to know somebody, I actually think that this is going to be possibly, yes, traveling with this person uh, is a very immediate way to understand this energy. But I think this is also going to be coming to understand their worldview, coming to understand how different this person is than yourself and how much better your experience in getting to know this person and your experience in love is thanks to the differences that are there. And those of you open to meeting somebody new, as I've been saying all along, this guy says to me that you will be traveling either for the promise of love or for the possibility of love. So whether it's you've met somebody already, whether online or in person, and you're deciding to trek across the country, or whether it's just that you know that there's this place and it's calling you and it feels like it would be a place that would be very romantic for you and you're feeling inspired to go, this is the type of energy that we actually have, bringing together a sense of adventure a sense of newness, a sense of interaction with new ideas, new cultures, new languages, and a genuine desire to experience greater love 
than you've known before. What I love about this month for you is it's this Venus retrograde, really. And this Venus retrograde is intent on getting you to know more of the world through heart, through love, and through spirit. And when you trust your heart, no matter where it is that it takes you, ultimately, as you will find this month, it takes you to some amazing, interesting, and beautiful places.